Hi, today we're going to be taking an unboxing review and let's build a look at UN2 Universal Unit XXXG 00 W O Wing Gundam Zero EW, which is, you know, Endless War Edition from the Gundam Wind movie. So here's kind of nice artwork in the front of the box, made by Bandai. Over here it tells you it is from the Gundam Wim series. On top it tells you what Gundam you're going to be getting in the box. So it's not a blind box or anything like that where it's like, Oh, I really hope I get the Bartos Lupus or, you know, I hope that I get the Wing Zero Gundam. You know what you're going to get when you buy it, okay? Because it tells you, in this box, it's going to be Wing Zero. So, these are kind of what I call known boxes. Because you already know what you're going to get in there before you open it up. I had to pick this up at Toys R Us for $7.99. Is that a high price for, you know, a little mini model kit? Not really. I seen some of these go for a little bit more. I believe uh, eBay has them, and I think Amazon also has these too. But I just went to Toys R Us, looked in around for stuff. I was like, "Oh my God, they have Gundams here!" Cause I tell you know, Hot Topic, and Hot Topic online they say, "Oh, you know, we have Gundams." Like, NH Edge or NH System? There's like a new NH one. I can't remember which one it is. There's two different ones. They said that they had Gundam Converge kits there. Every time I go in there, I look for them. I ask, you know, the cashiers at the store court. You know, the cashiers and stuff. I'm like, hey. You know, online it says, you have them. How come you never had them in stores? They're like, I don't know. So, definitely, Toys R Us, I saw this, I was like, I'm getting it. I am definitely picking this up and getting it. Because I love Double O. Not Double O. Yeah, what am I saying? Wing Gundam. From Gundam Wim. So, yeah. Also, a little something about the IBO, Iron Board Orphans. Bartos. They are finally coming out with the second season of IBO on Toonami. After months of waiting, 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 when are they going to show the second season? When is season two coming? How can they didn't put season two, you know, like, maybe two and a half, three, possibly even four months ago? Nope, they are going to release it. When are they going to release it? October 7th is Gundam Iron Blood Orphans season Two is coming out. I'm excited because we definitely need to see season two and how that plays out and stuff. On the bottom here, it just says this, and let's see if my camera can focus. Bandai Sokogun. Sokogun. That's what that says there. And then, you know, there's the website, you know, hitai.bandai. Bandai.co, Japan, for slash candy. So this is a candy toy-ish. And it is from... If my camera can focus there. Bluefin. Distributor. Uh, Bluefin, I dealt with them in the past. Through uh, Amazon, and they are just fantastic. So uh, they're the ones that kind of monitor and check any imported Gundams and stuff. I usually know if you buy it from like Amazon... What that means is like if you buy a Gundam model kit, they'll take the take the towel off the bots, take everything out of the bots, and say, is there runner A1 in there? Is there two runner B4s in there? Do they have the series? Do they have, you know, the uh decal sheets, like you know, water slides or something like that. Is there instructions in there? So they're kinda like I guess what you call Japanese to America and, you know, Gundam, 
Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? I just had something go. Um, customs. That's what I was thinking. The word. Well, you know, it goes for like their type of customs, and they're like, "Is there a piece missing?" Or they're writing their note, like, "Okay, all the runners are there, all the parts are there, but just one piece came loose from the runner." If you look, it's down there in like the left hand side underneath this third runner. So they make sure that when you get it, what you buy and what you get in the box is what you get in the box. So it's not like, hey, I bought this and you know, it's an empty box. Where's the runners at to build a Gundam? Or the instruction sheets to know what part goes where. They make sure. So, uh, Boofin. Great people at Boofin. So in this lineup, there's three two times two plus one. So, a little weird how, how they put it here. But what they mean by three times two plus one is there's three Gundams here that has two different forms, an A form and a B form. And then two, so, which means there's three Gundams. Two means there's two different forms. And then the plus one means one by itself. So there is seven different Gundams to collect. Or really only four different guns to quite if you count it that way. So uh, let's kind of get this up close here. So there's the all at 78 GP01FB. So see, version A over here comes with this gun, gun uh, beam rifle, and a shield. While version B only comes with this long beam rifle. Then you have the RGM 79N GM Custom Z Gun A comes with just the assault rifle while B comes with the beam saber and the shield. Then you have ASWG08 Gundam Bartos Lupus. The A version comes with the 200mm arm cannons while the B version comes with the uh, sword mace. And then, you know, that's 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 G dash double O double U O Wing Gundam Zero EW for the Endless Wall. There's only one version of him, so yeah. Also, to note here on the booth inside, it says no cane slash gum included. So let's go ahead and take it. Let it, so you do kind of open like how candy toys are where you punch it in, pull it up. I don't know why they're saying free because usually free means like you know the first one in the lineup. That should have been like f five or number seven, but I guess apparently this is toy number three. So is it like a model kit? Oh boy, you bet it is. So we kind of have like the lower torso. And the upper torso and the head all pre-built for us. Some, I guess, sides. No, those aren't side skirts. Those are pre-built. Arm pieces, I guess, that would be. Some feet. Moving on, we have over here some more shoulder pieces and arm pieces and stuff. Uh, hands. The hands are in white. So, uh. If you want to make them black or gray, like you know how the Bartos Lupus is, and pretty much all the other ones have gray hands. So if you kind of want to make it like how the model kits were, you have to paint them. Um, we do get the beam rifle. Um, is this a one part? Yeah, the beam rifle is one part. Because the way how I was it, it looked like it was two parts. Like this is side one and side two, like you just take them and pull off the one and snap them together. But how you usually do is the bitter Gundam kits. No, these are both one solid piece. So you do get two guns in there, beam rifles, and they are solid on both sides, so they're not hollow or anything. That's how we get some lay parts here. We get some wings, which, you know, for the small little kit, it does actually have some fantastic details on there, on the wings, which is nice. And something that's kind of funny because they don't show you on the bots here. You do actually get a beam saber. Which is like, wow, really awesome. 
And of course, like I said, with all kind of like candy toys, you do have to kind of tear the box slightly. So let's get the bottom of the box. Ugh. Because the instructions are actually in the box itself. And when I mean in the box, I mean it's like on the inside of the box. So if you toss the box in the garbage can before you agitate let it, you're not going to really know how to build it, although it seems pretty simple. So uh, don't throw away the box after you dump out the contents. Save the box because that's what the instructions are going to be. So if you're like, hey, they forgot the instruction sheet. Nope. Right there is the instruction sheet. So, let me try again. This box open without damaging it too much. So, give me a second here, folks. Because I want to save the box as much as possible. Because it just looks pretty awesome. So see, this is what I mean. It's going to show you that the two Buster Rifles as you do combine, like how they showed in the movie of Gundam Wing, Gundam Wim, the Endless War, when he was like, Lelina, Peacecraft, I'm going to kill everyone in this bunker. Put together my beam rifles. Double barrel, twin shot! So yeah, and like I said, here's the instructions, you know. How to build a hand. Delayed, put the pieces in for the wings and stuff. So the kind of curved wings, the straight wings. Stamp it all together, put the back pad system on. So it's the steps to do it. Are we actually going to build it? I don't know, it looks kind of hard on camera, you know, time wise. But uh, let's go ahead and try it. What the heck? I know this video is probably going to be at least a two-part video. So halfway in the build is probably going to be a two-part. You know I want it to be a one-part video. I'm just going to go ahead and call it. So if you're watching this, this is probably going to be part one. And then part two. So can any Now, the skirts do move forward and back, as you can kind of see here. Even the side skirts move. So it almost feels like they took a high grade 1144 scale Gundam and just swept it down. Now, does the head move? Um. No. I don't think the head moves. No, the head does not move. If you look underneath there at the uh, net joint, it is in that way permanently. So that's just how its head is supposed to be. You know, on the box it shows that its head is supposed to move. I'm not going to mess with it. I don't want to snap that tiny little joint in there. So, yeah. So we have two of these pieces. Don't know what they are for yet. Um, the bottom of the feet, which if we tailor the feet, if my camera could focus here, give it a second. There was actually detail on the feet. They just didn't say, oh, for this size of the model kit, we're just going to leave it as a flat plastic foot. No, they actually put a lot of detail in there. So there is room for panel lining. So can you panel line this kit? Yeah. Because you know what? It is a official licensed Bandai model kit. It's not like some not off model kit. So for official license one, I think they did a fantastic job. There's panel line detail in there. 
So if you do want to use a gun to marker to or some paint to pan line, you can and stuff. I just think that you know for the size and what they did was really awesome. Now the beam there is a solid color and it is pre-paint. So film is like, oh, is it translucent? Like how some wet beam saver parts are? Nope. I mean, yeah, the bad wings kind of have some hollow bits in there. So maybe you want to take some model clay, a model putty, and put it in here. But I mean, for the front wings, which you actually see it more like the bad wings, when you let the bad gun them, yeah, they are nicely detailed. So that's how those wings look. And then we have these wings. Can these wings fold over top of him to kind of make like a wing cape? Kind of like how we saw when he was fighting Wu Fei. Um, I don't know yet. Or what the range of the parts are. Are they kind of like set in prefits mode or can you kind of manipulate them and stuff? The shoulder pieces looks pretty awesome right here. Um, uh, let's see. Hands are tiny and stuff. But they do actually have some detail on the hands. Blades actually have panel lines in there and stuff. I mean, great job, Bandai, on these little mini UN2 Universal units. And what I was talking about on the Buster Rifle, see, they are solid on both sides and not how. If you notice, one kind of has a tab on it, the other one kind of has a little notch. So you can tab them together. To create that twin buster rifle. And then you just have some more like inner parts and joints for like the hips and the wings and stuff like that. So uh no poly caps on this kit. So if you're saying is there a set of poly caps? No. These kind of replace poly caps in a way, but they are definitely no poly caps. I think, you know, for seven bucks, what they did and put it in the detail work is kind of nice. So, where do we begin? Looks like we are going to begin by uh, making up a shoulder arm. And they do give you clear instructions. This piece that goes this way that has a little notch to the left is for the left arm. This one that has a notch on the right is for the right arm. Same thing with like the legs, I'm guessing. So, uh, you know, you know, it's not like, oh, I got two white ones. It doesn't matter if this one goes on the right arm or left arm. No, it actually does matter. Because the way how it's cut out and stuff. So you can set him aside, this aside, and all those parts. And what would the shoulder pieces look like? Obviously, you know, those are shoulder pieces, but. Now, do these have little numbers on it like uh, A2, D1, C sets? You know, like how most model kits from the Bandai Gundam series are. No, there is no part labeling at all on here. It just says free. Well, not says, it just has the number free to tell you that, you know, matches up that this is the third one in the lineup, apparently. <clears throat> so, I need the one that kind of swivels outward. I'm guessing it's going to be, no, it's the white piece. And which way does this one go? So it looks like we are building the white arm first from the picture. If I'm looking at it correctly, it should be. This one over here. That's what I'm guessing it is. 
I presume that it is this one. And this little piece over here, you just pop that off. I believe. Let me make sure before anything. Yeah, you should be able to pop that piece off. So why did I add this just a little extra piece on here and stuff? Now there is going to be some nut marks on here, but most people on these small kits, they don't really mind some nut marks on here and stuff. So, yeah, I'm just going to clean it up a bit. Like down here, there is a lot of pieces on there that needs to be cleaned up a lot more. So that I probably will have to file. That one came out beautifully. Like I said, there is some nut marks in here and stuff. But, uh, you really don't notice it too much on this white Gundam. I Maybe mean, if it was like red or gray, you might notice it a little bit more. So, what's the next piece that I need? Um, so it looks like a hand piece here. Which is. Something with a head hole coming out. Ah, it's these ones. Now, it doesn't matter which one it is on this one. Um, let's see. Looking at it. Yeah. It's going to be this one over here. So, this one is the one that we want. Because these ones do face two different directions. So, left and right. So since we're building the white hand, or the white arm, and this one, you know what? I really don't feel like you need to use a file that much. Just 